just basically stand back, wait for the uh, cavalry to show up because we're definitely not a cavalry. A small town in southwest Wisconsin, uh, right outside of La Crosse, with a very big problem tonight. The train derails in Vernon County, sending multiple cars right there into the Mississippi River. So it happened this afternoon south of La Crosse, a place called DeSoto. But the cleanup and the recovery after all of this could take months. We're told maybe even years. We've been seeing reaction tonight from the governor, also from state officials. Mills Hayes live in DeSoto. It's quite the scene out there, Mills. I know you've got some new information about what actually ended up in the river. Hey, Ben and Mary. Uh, yeah, this train derailment happened around 12:15 uh, earlier today, and we know that more than a dozen rail cars actually went off of the tracks. There were two cars that went in to the Mississippi River that were carrying paint, but we are told that they have been secured on to the shore. Now, I was able to check out some drone footage from some of the people that were out here earlier today, and uh, there were uh, parts where you could actually see the railroad track in the water. Water and the land underneath the railroad track was washed away. Now, we don't know yet what exactly caused this crash, but many people in this community tell me that because of how bad the flooding is, they don't think that the rail uh, track should have been uh, operating at all. Now, uh, we also know that there were four people that were injured, crew members that, that were on uh, this train. They were taken to the hospital earlier today. We don't know what their injuries look like right now. We just know that they are uh, getting a medical attention. Uh, the emergency management team here says that they're going to keep us updated on uh, how they're doing. But we heard from the local fire chief earlier today who tells me that this is a small community. Only about 350 people live here. There's no telling what actually got hurt and what didn't get hurt and what's leaking and all the things that run through your mind. Because we don't have the capacity for a major event you know, where we have spillage and stuff like that. We don't have nothing immediately. And there is a, some fuel that was spilled from those cars into the Mississippi River, but BNSF Railway says that there is no threat to the public right now and no one has been evacuated. In DeSoto, Mills Hayes, Fox 6 News. Mills, and from that area, very close to there, I've been getting uh, almost daily briefings from my families about how high those water levels are there. Do, did you hear officials talk at all about if that could hinder their progress in the cleanup or, or perhaps any some of the toxic chemicals that may have been released? That definitely is going to be a big factor because what we've been seeing throughout the day is some large trucks carrying a uh, quarry and some of the uh, rocks so that they're able to put that on top of the flooded water because you're not actually able to see it from right here because it's so dark outside. But uh, because of the flooding, the people that are working on trying to get those cars off, they can't get to the rail tracks because of how high that water is. So they're trying to create uh, like a makeshift land so that they're able to cross over and get some of that, those uh, rail tracks up, or those rail cars up, excuse me. Yeah. Mills Hayes reporting live for us. Thank you.